I'm Mo Sarji. Hey, that's how we do it. I travel the world to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for your entertainment needs. Go, go, go. Careful. From abandoned ghost towns to, hide right now. to being locked up in the basement of haunted mansions, those ghosts, your spirits, would tell her, build this, build this, to fighting for my survival on deserted islands. And when I'm not pissing off demons in haunted mental asylums, I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures. Ah, we lost the no! Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures. Yo, top, my boy! Live a little. Starting off my day in a really cool area, in a really cool house, more like a mansion, I should say, a very old Victorian mansion somewhere in Canada. This place has seen better days, but honestly, I think it's one of the most beautiful abandoned mansions that I've seen in a long time. I'm gonna take you guys on an explore, so I hope you guys are excited for this one, Sergeant. Smash the like button. If you don't know, my name is Mo Sarji, and guys, we have officially surpassed over a thousand videos on the main channel. I am so thankful and so happy. Thank you to each and every one of you guys that have supported me throughout the years. Let's keep these videos going. Let's get these videos to 2,000 videos on this channel, and let's get the subscribers to three million. We are almost there. Smash that subscribe button, like this video, and comment something positive down below. Now, let me take you guys on an adventure. All right, guys, let me go inside this really cool Victorian house. This place is massive, it is very old, and it's got some dark history to it, which I'll tell you guys about later on throughout this video. Now, apparently, a woman bought this place and tried to renovate it, and she... Oh, scared the crap out of me, dude. You literally scared the shit out of me. So this abandoned house comes with a twerking Carlo, apparently. It's just Carlo and I inside of this place today. So there's a story about this woman that bought this place to renovate it and make it look newer and turn it into a haunted B&B because it is haunted. Now apparently she ran out of funds and she gave up on the project, which sucks. But then the squatters came in, as you guys can see, and destroyed this place. So that's very unfortunate, it really sucks. But I am gonna be documenting what I find in here and hopefully we capture some type of paranormal. This can be a mix of abandoned and paranormal into one. What I've been doing for all these years and I hope you guys are still enjoying it. So here we go, right off the bat you can see there's a lot of garbage and that came from all the squatters that have been coming here to squat and live inside this place. This house is from the 1800s but someone did try to renovate it and they weren't successful unfortunately. Some of it's in ruins now. Wow, look at this. I haven't been inside yet, so what you guys are seeing is what I'm seeing for the very first time ever. Man, this would have been a really nice B&B. Holy wow, the destruction. Now recently I heard that the owner of this place had seen videos and photos come up on social media and she was very sad to see her house destroyed like this. So if you are the owner and you're watching this, I am so sorry. Um, I, I, I sympathize. I, it sucks that people come into places like this and they destroy them. Um, squatters come in, they, they take advantage of free, you know, free places like this and eventually they just totally obliterate them. So it really sucks. Now you were here four years ago, right? Yeah. Was it just destroyed? Not even close. Really, it was like mint when you came here? Well, it was mint, but it had damage to it from the fire. Yeah. Oh, there was um, a fire. Yeah, yeah, there was a fire here. Was this after the renovation or before? The fire was before the renovations, uh -huh. and then the lady had bought the house as the way it sat, and she tried to renovate it, and I think she ran out of money, or just she came up with complications, she couldn't finish it. Damn. So. It is a really beautiful place. Like, look, going up these stairs and these windows, and then this is where Carlo was twerking through this window. Like, I don't know what this is all about. It's kind of weird, but like I said, it, this was supposed to be a B and B, so you know, this might have made sense when the construction was done, if it was to ever get finished. I'm getting sad vibes, honestly, sad vibes. Maybe it's because someone actually, you know, poured their heart and soul into renovating this place, and then assholes came in and trashed it and destroyed it. It's probably what it is that I'm feeling, honestly. But there also could be a paranormal aspect to it. It is an 1800s house, so lots of history here. You just never know if anybody passed away in a place like this. You know, I do love abandoned houses. I heard someone. I heard someone talking. That wasn't you? 
hear someone's voice. I was trying to say I do love abandoned houses, but sometimes they get creepy. Somebody upstairs? In the house. Hello, anyone in here? You were upstairs? I was taking pictures of upstairs for my pictures and I heard the echo was a low voice saying hello. I said hello to you? So why don't you reply? No. Just could be some squatters. That's what I'm gonna, uh, I don't know. You can I, say hello. I got protection on me. <laughs> That's not big enough. <laughs> it's big enough, trust me. Okay, you can go. Hello? Anyone here? I love how you're just like hiding. Taking pictures. And tell me she's still. She's out by who? And why? Hello? Is there anyone in here? Yeah. Maybe that was like a ghost or something. <laughs> Maybe they think we're police or something. We're not police. <laughs> Quite the opposite. Well, this is creepy. There's got to be like somebody outside of this place because I did hear somebody yelling something. I'm not sure if my camera picked up on it. Well, let's just go up together. Yeah. Or let's explore the rest of the, this part. Because there's a whole big area that we haven't explored yet. And then we'll make our way upstairs. Oh, like, I mean, I'm just going to do my thing. If there was what? Film my TikTok. You film your TikTok? Yeah. So you're just gonna leave me alone? No, I'm just gonna go to the front and film some TikToks. What a pussy! You're literally going outside because you're a fucking pussy. You're scared. <laughs> he's scared. He's go. He's leaving me alone inside. <laughs> he's leaving. <laughs> he's scared. Bring your butt back in here, Carlo. All right, I'm just gonna press on. Let's see if I can find anything cool. Ooh, there's a basement. Anyone down there? This way here let's explore this way and we'll go check out that other place together oh there used to be a bathroom here what is this a kitchen whoa look at this kitchen so cool oh, that's another staircase i don't think so i don't think there's anyone here you heard the person say hello, right? I heard something. I heard talking, but it's not like it came from outside. How many bathrooms are in here? Jesus. Oh. I don't know why. That one's busted. Yeah. I don't know why. I'm just expecting like someone to be hiding in like a door or something. Hey, let's go upstairs now. Come on now. Here. Now I checked all, all of those areas. Dangers of abandoned, especially when you've never been here before. So you just don't know where anyone's hiding. Should we check the basement first? No. 
What? Have you been down there? You can go. It's a creepy ass. Yeah, I thought I heard something downstairs. Damn, now I'm like nervous. Hello? Anyone here? You coming, Carlo? This is so nerve wracking. Oh, there's a whole apartment in here. Nobody in there. I feel like a cop. Hello, anyone in here? Dude, we both heard like sounds. It's nerve wracking because I'm sticking you guys in through the doors first just to see and you guys are going to see it before I do so it's creepy right you check this room <laughs> all right we are clearing up oh, man there's so much like drug paraphernalia and destruction Yeah, I don't think anyone's in here. I don't know what the hell we heard, but we definitely heard someone. We definitely heard someone in here. Yeah, that was strange. Yeah, there's still an attic. Whoa, and there's another staircase. Oh. Is that you? Stop, stop moving. Give that to you, okay. This is like a kitchen. All right, sorry for the way I'm filming this, guys, but we're just trying to make sure this place is safe for us to keep exploring. Because you just never know when someone's hiding around the window or around the door or something. What's in here? I just opened to see if anyone was in there. Oh, what the hell? What a big ass house. This is bigger than I thought. Yeah. I wonder what's in the attic. The attic's the only place we haven't checked yet. Although I'm still gonna be clearing the rooms that Carlo checked because I don't trust the way he looks at things. <laughs> he might miss a closet or something. So yeah, there's all these empty rooms. It's a big abandoned mansion. We're kind of like shitting our pants going through it because we don't know who's hiding in here. Excuse me, sir. That's tipped over. That's recent. When's the last time you were here? A couple days ago. Mm. Yeah, in a couple of days, when it comes to the abandoned world, a lot can change. Like, look at this. There's this really cool balcony area over here. Wow, that's awesome. this bathroom. Ugh. Somebody took a poopy in there. Does not smell pleasant. All right, so I've checked every room, every door, every crevice up here in this area. Yeah. Now let's go to the attic together. I think it's pretty, there's no one in here. I think what we heard might have been a ghost. <laughs> it come from the actual street. I didn't go in here though. Hello. Looks like they were actually doing renovations to this room and they ran out of money. This hardwood is still brand new. Man, that sucks. Brand new bathroom over here. Well, we got a homeless guy outside. 
We've got a homeless guy outside over there. For real? Yeah. Did you hear a female's voice or a male's voice? I thought I heard him in the parking lot. No, he's on the other side. I thought I heard like a, a male and a female's voice. I thought I heard two people. Hello, we're coming up. This is a big house. They're so massive. The heck? This place is like a freaking maze. This is, it's like a maze. Maze. Oh, that one right in there. It just keeps going. Yeah. What is this? It's kind of like a octagon. I don't know what it else Whoa. This is like a seance room. <laughs> a lot of these old, like, Victorian houses were literally made by witches back in the day. Yeah. They always had money and they'd make these seance rooms. That's what this is. This is, when you look at the front of the house, you know a round circle part? That's what this board's saying right now. I know, the seance room. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the top. I have something for you. Condoms. Look at me for a minute. Yeah, condoms. Everyone, no one brought me here for this. Extra small, just like you like it. Roots for your pleasure. <laughs> You're such a weird person. <laughs> But look at this room, what a beautiful room. I guess they were updating this one, yep. and then they ran out of money. Man, it's sad. I feel bad for the person that used to own this place. Or still does, but their house went to shit and got destroyed. Honestly, that suck. Look at how beautiful the room is. Like the high ceilings, even up here in the attic. There's high ceilings here. One of a kind. One of a kind, honestly. This seance room is really intriguing to me though. All right, let's see what else there is up in this attic. Door right there. This one? Yeah. Look on the floor. Oh, what is that? That is uh, old meat. <laughs> Somebody bought meat and never ate it. That's gross. Another big room. There's like so many like little hidden spots, hidden corners. There's so many hidden spots. This house was honestly way bigger than I thought it was. Again, this was supposed to be a haunted B&B. &B. Someone was supposed to turn it into a bed and breakfast where you come and sleep, rent rooms, and you can enjoy a, a paranormal scare. Hello? Is there anyone in here? Completely empty. That's good. I was kind of hoping we would run into someone. But it is empty. There's no one here. Nothing to be worried about. Unless Carlo did not check the rooms properly. There are some little trap doors. <laughs> what the hell? That is so cool. <laughs> and look at this, guys. Again, they were in the process of renovating this place. Still brand new crown molding. Or not crown, just brand new molding. And then they never got a chance to finish it. This room is really beautiful actually. It had its own kitchen. It was probably supposed to be like some type of anyone here? I'm like checking every crevice, you guys. This is a tiny room, but I guess this was like the kitchen area. And then the actual bedroom area was supposed to be like over here maybe? Yeah, this is it. It's like its own unit. You close the door, you have your own unit. Bedroom, kitchen, and the bathroom was probably shared, if anything. Or unless this was the bathroom here. Was it the bathroom? Nope, closet. So the bathroom might have been like one of the shared bathrooms on the outside. Oh, or wait a sec, no, the bathroom would have probably been in here. Yeah, probably would have been in there. See the bathroom in the top corner over there? Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? I'm 
must have missed that both times. Really? That's why I check every crevice, honestly. Because there's a really cool shower in this room. As you guys can see here. Like they were renovating it and it wasn't being renovated probably in like an expensive way, probably in like a cheap way. You can tell a lot of the finishes are really, really cheap. Like why would you paint the wooden beams? These wooden beams are amazing. You don't want to paint those. Cheap quality paint. I mean, I don't know. When was the last time they were, they were trying to renovate this place? After, four years ago? No, between now and four, three years ago, I'd say. Wow. I think the pictures I've seen from the renovations might have been last year, to be honest. Let's go down. So they re so they tried to renovate it like last year. Yep. And then ran out of money. Ran out of money. And then some assholes came and destroyed the place. Yep. That's not good. That's why you got to invest in security. And I know not everyone's able to afford security, which sucks. I do like this room though. Such a beautiful room. This could have been just like a chill spot, like a common area for all the other guests. The only place we haven't gone down to right now is the basement. Okay, you kind of go down to the basement. Okay, I'm just gonna pee off the lunch here down. You're gonna what? I'm gonna pee down here. You're gonna pee down? Yeah, okay. Oh God. Let's go. This is what I have to deal with. I'm like, let's just go me and you today, Carlo, just the two of us and we'll film together. But I also have to deal with his abuse. His verbal and his physical abuse. <laughs> I still love him though. If you don't have your own car load, well, sorry, get your own car load. This is my car load. He's not perfect, but he's mine. <laughs> right, Carlo? Sure. Oh, mine, bitch. Yeah, how, uh, being in your video, how bad did I scare you when I went through that window? You scared the crap out of me, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Like, you really did. I love the wooden doors here. Yeah. So cool. The staircase would have been nice right here. It would fall on top of the wall still intact. Mm -hmm. But obviously we have idiots that destroy places, so. Alright, show me that you're a man and lead the way. You got your loom cube. Take that loom cube and light up the way for us, Carlito. Alright guys. <coughs> Just well, go. Before we come go downstairs, links to my vlog channel down below, because I'm gonna get my vlog channel going, get me up to a hundred thousand. He couldn't get his main channel going, but he thinks he's gonna get his vlog channel going. Let's get him to 100,000. Let's get him some views, guys. Carlo's a good boy. He deserves it. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any abandoned places. So big thank you to him, honestly. He gets me all the cool abandoned spots. This basement is creepy. Jesus Christ, he scared the crap out of me. Oh, look, there's another staircase that goes outside. Yeah. It's pretty big down here. I mean, I wouldn't call this big, but it's something. It's like tunnels. It's like tunnels that go deep. I don't know why I'm expecting to find like, a dead body in here or something. These types of basements are always so creepy. It reminds me of like old mental asylums. Man, like there is no way of bringing this house back to life. No? No, like all the wiring has been cut in the entire house. Yeah, copper, yeah, copper thieves, like control panels gone, like it'll cost more than what the house is worth. And there's like a tunnel that goes up that way. No clue where that goes. But like there's like they've even taken the pipes, dude. Yeah. They've opened up pipes, like this house has no chance in ever making a comeback unless you were to totally destroy it and just rebuild brand new. But you this can't you can't tear this place down, it's got a historic value. Because it, it was built too. in eighteen. So that's why it's gonna sit abandoned for a long time. Like it's got a brand new furnace. The poor lady put in a brand new furnace and then copper thieves just raided it. Yep. That's a brand new furnace, it's brand new piping. Yep. Oh my God. It's crazy. You can see the old piping and then you can see the new piping. And someone just totally obliterated. Look, you can see, you can see pieces of the, the stuff here. Wow. What's on this side? Not much. Is it a cool wine bottle? Oh, there, oh it's like a wine cellar. Yeah. Whoa. Like an old school wine cellar, probably an original wine cellar from like back in the day. All right, guys, it's time to get the hell out of here. We had a bit of a scare inside. We heard something. I don't know if it was paranormal or there was actually somebody in there, but we searched the entire place. Like I based my entire video out of just searching the entire place as well as exploring. But I think it could have been like paranormal. I don't know. I heard it. All in all, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. There's not much content for paranormal in here for me to just like 
it's all destroyed. It's disgusting. There's like wet condoms everywhere. There's like drug paraphernalia everywhere. It's a dangerous place to film in and a very disgusting one. But if you guys have locations you want me to film in, in New York, Pennsylvania, I am planning a trip really, really soon sometime mid-August. Um, so let me know where you want me to film, whether it's abandoned or haunted. And go subscribe to Carlo. He really needs to buy new diapers because, you know, he ran out scared thinking there was somebody upstairs. He needs diapers. So go subscribe to Carlo. His link is down below. Don't forget, get yourself that Team Mosarji merch. The link is down below. Mosarji.shop. I'll see you guys on the next one.